of Jide Ojo. Welcome to the program at this time as we you know, continue to count down to uh, the primary exercise uh, over there in Abuja, which is being done, of course, by the PDP. So is it kudos for you on how far the PDP has gone in today's exercise? Well, um, PDP is up to a good start. Uh, I mean, thus far, um, it has remained um, something that is being monitored very closely, and it is believed that um, at least we have seen the five minutes of fame for the 13 plus uh, aspirants that are left in the race, maybe 12. Uh, I recall that uh, 15 were cleared by the uh, screening committee, out of which Peter will be, uh, Ayatu Dean, and now, uh, Anna Kweze or so on, has also, uh, withdrawn from the race. So leaving about 12. But the good news is, uh, at least for the first time, uh, in a very long time, uh, PDP is going to, uh, I mean, there will be a very odd contest uh, in the coming hours, uh, given the number, the sheer number of aspirants. And these are heavyweights in their own right, Go former governor, current governor, uh, former vice president. So um, thus far, at least, there has not been any report of any ugly incident at the, at the venue of the convention. Uh, things have gone fairly okay. Uh, Bearing, you know, some noise pollution at some point, then interjecting the presentation of the aspirant. But at least, uh, for the worth of 40 million naira that was paid for the nomination form, uh, each of those aspirants got five minutes of fame. And I must commend, uh, Tari Oliver, uh, for that brilliant uh, speech she made, the only female aspirant, uh, even if she doesn't win, she, she chose her uh, own USP, a uh, unique selling point, uh, very well, which is, um, part of local government, the need to revive local government. And you don't have to have too many things. She, uh, she is of the opinion that if they, 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 we are able to revive the local government, local governance system, um, that will, they will be able to solve the problem of uh, unemployment, insecurity, and all of, all of that, uh, including the fact that, as a true Nigerian, uh, you know, the, she's urging the delegate to vote for her. And I, I, I believe that the delegates will do the needful, uh, voting their conscience, not necessarily uh, because they have been induced financially as being widely reported in the in the media, both social media and the orthodox media, uh, they will vote their conscience. Uh, and I, I think uh, we are we are very up to a very tight race uh, this evening. Yeah, I, I look forward to an offset, actually, if, if an offset, uh, if that could be an offset, right. because there is a giving, uh, there is a presumption that uh, one of the frontline aspirants already have this in his kitty. Uh, given the wealth and the resources he possibly have expended on this uh, project. But uh, there could be an offset. And at this point, I think one cannot, even after listening to all of the aspirants, one cannot say for sure who actually will carry the day in the wee hours of tomorrow when right. the votes will have been tallied. All right. So let, let me... PDP. Let me hear from BKO at this point, Mr. Ojo. Uh, in terms of choosing their date and sticking to those dates, they, they, they appear more coordinated even more than APC. Uh, APC has become like a, uh, a, 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 a very unstable in terms of planning, uh, given the fact that uh, today they will tell you uh, we are going to do the screening and then they will say, no, the, the screen is no longer taking place. It's going to be, it has been postponed indefinitely. Oh, we are, I mean, as, as I speak with you, no one is very sure 
for certain, I am yet to read official communication about whether the uh, convention, the presidential primary of APC, will still be holding on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, there are speculations in the media that this has been rescheduled for 6th and 7th of, uh, of uh, June. Absolutely. Uh, and that, that shows... Uh, as a ruling party, you, you, you should set the pace. You should be the leader. You should be the one that others, there is, a, there is an adage in my part of the world that it is the front us that the back one used to pace. But here we have a APC that doesn't appear to be prepared. When I read uh, Sally Ulukman's um, uh, communication to the chairman, copied to several other uh, uh, leaders of the party, uh, you know, accusing the APC national chairman of, of uh, running a one-man show. And the fact that the convention, the party primary, uh, was, there, there, there wasn't anything substantial or grand to show that the party was ready for this, uh, special convention. It tells you that APC hasn't really gotten its act together. All right. So on a comparative note, uh, the fact that PDP more than a month ago, scheduled its convention for uh, 28th and 29th mm. of, of, of May and stuck to it. They, they have more than three weeks ago been able to screen the 18 aspirants uh, that purchased the presidential nomination form right. and they were able to uh, clear... Mr. Ojojo, what's your view as to the issue of zoning now that the party has, of course, left the race open? I'm sorry, uh, can you, can you no, come no, again? The PDP has left uh, the race. What's my view about what? The PDP has left the race open as against the stance by others that it, sh uh, it should have been zoned. The party should have used uh, the principle of zoning, which is enshrined in its constitution. What are your views on that? Well, I, I can only assert um, that you are asking me about my view about the level of preparation of um, uh, PDP for this um, for this exercise. Um, I'm, I'm not I'm not really getting you well. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's too early in the day to um, give kudos to. PDP for whatever is being done. Um, it's still yet far from Uhuru. Uh, the news from many of the states uh, for the exercise that have thus been conducted uh, is not altogether welcoming and very outwarming. And uh, I could only say that yes, this, this uh, presidential primary has, is off to a good start. Uh, we hope things will remain peaceful and credible and that at the end of this whole exercise, uh, the losers will be able to congratulate the winner uh, for creating a level playing field and for ensuring that uh, even they, they lost, uh, they lost gallantly and that there was no uh, deliberate attempt to uh, stack the, to, to, to uh, make the system uh, work against them. Uh, so it, it, it's, it's early in the day for us to really uh, pass a, a, a verdict one way or the other about this exercise. Uh, it's still ongoing. It's still uh, uh, not yet concluded. But from what has been thus has been seen thus far, uh, if there are no issues with the list of delegates. And, and I Mr. Ojo, I, apologies I, I, to you, but we have to interrupt now to bring this breaking news. Uh, news just reaching us now uh, is saying that uh, Sokoto State Governor Aminu Tambual, who is a contender uh, for to become the 
a flag bearer of the party, has just withdrawn uh, just uh, moments away from the start of the primary uh, election by at least 800 delegates uh, of the People's Democratic Party. Does this come to you as a shock or could, you, could this just be the start of more withdrawals tonight, BK? Yes, I, uh, I will expect that some more will, will, will quit the race. I will expect that some more will say, okay, vote for this particular uh, candidate. It's possible that some candidates from the South would um, step down for a candidate that they believe stands a better chance of winning. And it could also be the same case uh, from the North, you know, so that um, you, you help one of the candidates that you favor to um, stand a better chance of winning. But uh, uh, Tambua stepping down um, came to me as a surprise. But unfortunately, we couldn't listen to him to, uh, to know why he decided to uh, quit the race. But I, I think that some more we eventually um, decide to, to quit. But, but looking at, at uh, Mr. Tambowell's decision now, how would you rate it on his own part? Was this the best decision for him? Or should he have just that some have clamored who said they were shot out of uh, you know, the primary election? Could, they, could he have at least gone on? This won't be his first time that he would be uh, you know, contesting to be the flag bearer of his party. Could he have you know, put himself down, you know, sticking in his head even further? No, he must have weighed his chances. He must have weighed his chances. There are, uh, not everyone can um, withstand the level of um, monetization of party primaries that, that uh, is going on. Not everyone can, can withstand it. And if you've worked hard and suddenly you discover that this is all about... Uh, sharing big money to delegates and you've not got the capacity to match others in doing that, it makes sense we just um, uh, we just leave the race. You know, that way at least your honor will be intact. Because if, if I cannot um, match people seeking power, in my view, in an illegal uh, way, buying the conscience of people, and then I shouldn't be part of the race. I shouldn't be part of that kind of contest. You know, so I don't know why he decided to do that suddenly, but it may have even been his plan all along. Maybe he slept over it last night and just told himself, look, I'm going to spring a surprise at um, MQ Abiola and just quit the race. Well, for some people, it's not worth it to spend all that money. And a lot of the money that we are seeing uh, delegates being given, a lot of it is public funds. Indeed. No, it's so, it's so shameful the level to which we have sunk as a country that people, somebody was telling me that the delegates at these PDP um, presidential primaries, that some of them will leave the venue with as much as 30 million naira. One delegate going home with 30 million naira. It shouldn't, politics shouldn't be to that. monetized up to that level. All right. Uh, let's hear from Mr. Jide Ojo in Abuja. Now, we had issues, you know, connecting with you. It appeared you couldn't hear us, but we could hear and see you just fine. Now, now that, uh, according to reports now, Mr. Amino Tambual has pulled out of the race, what's your reaction to that? Well, um, sincerely speaking, I think it's cowardly is cowardly of uh, Governor Aminu Tambo for, for uh, why, why should he, uh, he, he has all the time uh, to, to withdraw from the race and uh, 
uh, he, he, not, he not decided to throw in the towel after he has made his, uh, after his five minutes of fame. I, I, I think we should take this process more seriously. I like what Tambua did to what many uh, candidates do, what they do rather, uh, at elections. They will allow INEC to print the ballot papers. They will, INEC will have even taken delivery of the ballot papers. On the eve of election, they will say they are withdrawing from the race and endorsing another candidate. If you know you are going to withdraw, there should be a timeline within which aspirants should be allowed to withdraw. Because if, if PDP has gone ahead to print the ballot papers, there will still be some people who will vote for Tambua. And, and that, that should have, I mean, in the event that there, there, there is a timeline for withdrawal, the, 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 the size of the ballot paper will have been customized to only those who are still contesting. Uh, look at the, uh, the Igbo guy that was, that, that I think he spoke second. He was the second to speak. Uh, he, he also allegedly withdrew from the race after making his five minutes of speech saying that, uh, uh, the, 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 for failure of PDP to zone the position. These people are just thinking that this whole exercise it's a child's play, it's a charade, it's not something that they should take serious. Because, I mean, the electoral act, if we are, if this had happened and in the general election, the electoral act has a timeline within which you are supposed to withdraw from the race. After which date, uh, your withdrawal does not amount to anything. That was what uh, OBS Equestily did in 2019 uh, when she withdrew 30 days or they're about to the election. When the electoral says you can only withdraw from the race 45 days to the election. So, Tambua knew that he wasn't going to go the old org. Why did he uh, spend, waste the time uh, of the delegates uh, making speech, asking people to vote for him? Just a few minutes ago, less than an hour ago, he was talking about uh, not being not too old to run, not too young to run. And uh, he's a bridge builder. He, he gave us his uh, summary of his CV. Is it because of the 40 million naira he paid that he just felt that he also needed that five minutes of fame? Otherwise, uh, I think going forward, political parties should have a timeline within which those who want to withdraw from the race should withdraw, after which they should not be able to withdraw from the race any longer. Because... This whole uh, exercise that have uh, been that is rooted in our politics, where even at general elections, uh, you you continue. You, many of them will even participate in the debates organized by media and civil society, only for them to now withdraw from the race, purportedly on the eve of the election. After we, Anek will tell you. It, yeah, you can't withdraw at this point. We have already printed the ballot papers. We cannot go back to the electorate to start telling them. Talk to oh, you again. I've been giving you a nudge uh, now. <laughs>